Hi Cancer, welcome to your love reading for November. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This may resonate with yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. This does tend to be a romantic reading. Um, it could be work or family or friends or general, but this is about, you know, something someone's keeping from you. So um, typically it's romance. Also, it's going to take me a minute to lay out the cards, so you might want to fast forward. And I talk a lot. Okay. Cancer. But they aren't telling you cancer. Three of Cups, the Lovers, Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles, High Priestess, Five of Wands, Knight of Swords, so High Priestess, Pisces or Cancerian, Gemini, Taurus or Libra, and the Knight of Swords, that could be Aquarius, and we've got the King of Swords, that could be Gemini. All right. So, oopsie, got more over here, there we go, okay, two, four, five, six, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, okay then, eight. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Nice. Plus two twos. So you're you're kind of feeling pretty balanced here. Things are going as they should. You're progressing, taking it in stride. All right. What's this lover's card about for cancer? Ace of Wands. And this is two of wands. Seven of Pentacles. This is Four of Pentacles about for Cancer. Four of Swords. This is Eight of Swords. Three of Cups. Hmm. Huh. High Priestess about here for Cancerian. This is Five of Wands. This is Knight of Swords. I think this is someone looking for some spark. This is King of Swords. Yep. The uh, Emperor. Okay, so this, you are just fine the way you are. You've got somebody that wants, um, feel like there's certain things that they're not coming clean with to much of anybody. This is someone that kind of just enjoys the hunt and kind of wants the excitement and the fun. They don't really want the stability. They kind of, they're not real sure maybe what they want or this could be somebody that i just i feel like they're not being all the way open and i'm wondering if they're um they're actually involved with somebody already and they're just not telling you because i think this person likes that kind of dynamic in um a connection they like that to, to them it equals um, mystery and excitement and adventure um, rather than something just boring so I think this is someone that might be saying that they want um, they want they want to try something new that they they want to break out of their shell and they want to just kind of do something different and out of the norm and that's how you two met perhaps or if you're together, this is what they're telling you, um, that they want to change things up. But I feel like this, 
it could be that this person is saying that they feel like they're being controlled, that things are too me. And I feel like they might be putting that off on you and blaming you for being controlling. Maybe not things not being interested enough or they, they want some they want something different. They want more excitement in the marriage. Um, they want more excitement in the connection. They want more excitement for the next new relationship. And that's why they kind of pulled back and they want to take a breather on this. And they just kind of want to date and have fun because they don't know what they want. So I feel like they might be putting you in limbo because they're not sure anymore. And I think what they're looking for is more of a spark in the relationship. This, there's compatibility here, but they're not into it. This is someone that doesn't feel that spark and they're not telling you that. And furthermore, they might be blaming you for being kind of controlling. Um, this could be somebody that you've met online uh, that isn't telling you that they're secretly married. That they're kind of just looking for something really um, intense and inconsistent. Could be that. If you're dating this person, this is someone that is bored with the connection and wants some adventure. If you're not dating this person and you've met them online, they're not telling you that they're married. This, um, you need to kind of be careful if this is specifically, if this is somebody you met online specifically, you need to be careful because they're probably not telling, they're, they're not telling you that they're actually, um, their situation is not what it seems. They're not as available as they make it sound. They're probably doing this just as a fun escape because they feel very, they might be getting a bit of cabin fever and they're just looking for some adventure and to spice things up. And so what better way than to be dishonorable to those closest to you and, and have an affair, right? Awesome choice. Yeah, not being sarcastic. So it's come down to two things here. This is somebody that um, either you've just met online. I'm going to hang down here. You've just met online and they're not being truthful about how bored they are. Um, and they're not telling you that they're just looking for something uh, uh, to spice things up while they cheat on their person. Um, if this is you with them, they're telling you everything's fine, but they're kind of feeling like, I'm, not, I'm sorry, they shouldn't have said everything's fine. If you're with this person in physicality and location, then they're saying, I want... I want more spark. I want something new. I think we should see other people because um, I want to go find what I want. You know what they want? They want no commitment and a lot of fun and a lot of just not commitment. That's what they want. And that's fine. That's what dating is, is, you know, seeing if something there's a connection or not. But um, I, I think that they're not... If, Again, in physicality, when someone's in your proximity and you're dating them, they don't feel the spark and they want to go after that and find that spark with someone. If this is someone you met online, this is someone that quite possibly could be cheating on their person and they're not telling you they're with their person. So this is you. Um... Mm. This is you needing to look after, in either situation, this is about you looking after your best interest and pulling back your energy also and choosing a different avenue or a different trajectory, different progression. This is not going all in with someone. I feel like you didn't anyway, that you're, you kind of always kept your options open. So maybe this was just casual dating and the person kind of just told you, I'm not feeling it. I'm going to go find my the person I think I should be with somehow. That's actually quite admirable because they're not ghosting and you're like, okay, fine. Because this there's no disappointment here. We don't have you crumbling or being upset. You're you're keeping your options open also. You're, you're not investing in anything yet either. But again, for the 17th time, if it's somebody online that you met, they're not who they say they are. That was for Ken Syrian. This could be Gemini or Aries. That's for Ken Syrian. Four Swords. Maybe this is about you taking a break from dating. And I'm not being sarcastic. That you're just not really finding quality people. So you're just like, you know, I'm going to pull back for a little bit. I'm going to keep it light. I'm going to hang out with my friends. 
because I'm not really finding the people maybe I want to meet either online or in proximity. Now, let's be honest. Some places, everybody's going back down to the bare minimum and, and kind of staying in the house. So that could be, you might be like, you know what? Perfect timing. I'm not really happy with the whole dating thing anyway, so I'm just going to kind of give it a rest for a little bit. Makes sense. You know? Couldn't hurt, maybe. With the, with these two options, either the online or the um, in proximity, that might be a wise decision. Kind of lends itself nicely to you taking a break. That's for canceling. The search. Feeling lost, confused, and lonely. Which, if you do, please know that dating is trial and error. And you just haven't met them yet. The key word is yet. So... I like that you, while you might be feeling this, you're being discerning because a lot of times people feel this way and then the solution is to kind of get um, connected to somebody as soon as possible to alleviate this. So then you go from feeling this way by yourself to being with someone and still feeling this way. But at least it's a somebody and it's like, that's not the answer. We don't need to, you know, do that to ourselves. It's just compounding some loneliness. So this could be you literally taking a break from the search. And realizing that you feel more comfortable in your own skin and under yourself right now than you do kind of um, dating online or just dating in general. I think this is you trying to um, understand how you feel rather than getting caught up in it, which is very wise. You're still, there might be an awareness of how you feel, but you're not letting that take you under. You're not getting caught up in that and you're not making emotional based decisions. You're still considering things very carefully here. So, I like that. Um, and you might feel that way, but you're doing, you're still staying consistent with your day-to-day -day routine. You haven't abandoned yourself. You haven't completely let this overtake you. You have this in perspective. And you're using it to inform your next decision. Like, hmm, you know, maybe this isn't the best time for me to be dating. Maybe I need to give all that a little break because of how I'm feeling. Because I'm not really into anybody I've met anyway. And maybe I should just sit with how I feel for a while. Page of Cups. Queen of Wands reverse. That could be Aries. So, you know, you're okay. I'm calling it. You're dealing with somebody that's not being authentic. You're dealing with somebody that just wants this. That's going to, the you know, going to take more out of you than they give. Um, they've got their own and you're steering clear of it. Good for you. But you're dealing with someone that's kind of might be a bit of a diva or just not dating authentically. They're not dating to find partnership. They're dating because they just want an escape from their situation. Maybe they might be presenting themselves as not who they really say they are because they're just frustrated with their own situation and they don't care who it affects. They need to see themselves in a certain way so they, they're they not being honest. Um, and so it, it, this could be quite literally you, you've met somebody who's very immature and childish and your crush isn't what who you thought they were. You might have dated this person and then all of a sudden you found out what they were really like and you're like, oh, pulling that back. Well, this stinks. I'm going to take a break from dating for a while. In both scenarios, the physical and the one online, you are finding out that this person is not what they seem. Um, well, I shouldn't say in both scenarios. If it's an online scenario, definitely they're not who they seem. If it's the person um, in physical location or proximity, it might you might have thought it was going somewhere and it's not. So you might have felt like, hey, this could be something. And then the person just told you, you know, I just want more. I don't think there's a spark here. And, you know, I'm glad they were honest with you then. Because that sets you free to, to pursue others when you're ready. Looks like you're going to be taking a break from it, though, and just sticking with your tribe. I think you might have found dating disappointing for a little bit. So you're just going to coast. And, and the orders, you know, with what's going on, um, it might be that it's just a natural progression for you to kind of be back in your home and under yourself anyway. Okay. All right. I hope this was helpful. I hope um, to see you in the next reading, Cancer. So this is just kind of a taking it easy after finding out 
some information from someone that you might have been seeing, finding out differently than you thought it was headed, and then taking it easy for August. I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. Much love to you.